Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to paint a little blue tit and uh, talk you through my approach and how I go about it really. Um, I hope you find it useful. I've got a new microphone so hopefully even when I start mumbling you might be able to hear me. So fingers crossed, wish me luck. So I started by thinking about what colours I was going to use and I'm going to use some phthalo blue, I've no idea how you pronounce that, that's a Daniel Smith one, indigo, either a mix of cadmium yellow and Hansi yellow or just the cadmium. I'm going to mix my black using indigo and a bit of burnt sienna you can see i've done a little tester here the indigo most of the time will be all right on its own but where i want it a little bit darker i might mix the two and then moon glow is another daniel smith color is very good for any shadow or shading now something else that i might use today is a little gel pen because for the little white bits on his wing you can either oh sorry couldn't see that the white bits on his wing you can either um, use masking fluid and keep them white and then rub that off after you've painted or you can put it in afterwards with a, a little gel pen you get these on Amazon they're quite good so I'm going to do that um, because I don't want to keep you waiting too long. My reference picture here is from Pixabay. And there's a free reference photos. I am going to use probably a little kitchen roll for just mopping and dabbing. I've done a little sketch quite lightly because the um, pencil marks show through watercolour, so you have to be quite careful. Um, so you need water, I'm going to use a brush that's about a size 4. Um, probably only use this brush today. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to start with his eye, just to get that done. So for this, I probably will use a little mix of that dark indigo. With a bit of burnt sienna. Now you always want to leave a little bit of white in there. Don't have it a flat black colour. If you do get a little carried away, you could always use your gel pen afterwards to put some back in. So say you don't want it flat colour, so I'm just lifting a little bit off there just to put a bit of life back into the eye and then I'm kind of just as a little white circle almost around the eye going to put that in now and then add a bit of water either side just to soften it up. You see how that's now softening. So now we might go in with a bit of indigo. along that line carefully and where it spreads out we just might control it just a little bit the reference photo Goes. So I'm using just the tip of the brush 
with a bit of water on. I go in and then I lift it off again. So I'm quite happy with that as it is at the minute. So I'm going to go in and do his beak now. Now that is a dark grey colour. So again, I'm going to use that um, mix of burnt sienna and indigo. Get my grey colour and I'll start with just some putting in a bit of colour but remember it's not all a flat colour so put the colour in, clean your brush, dry your brush a bit and then push the paint around a bit. I spend a lot of time putting paint on and then lifting it off again. Okay, happy with that as it is at the minute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start on some of the blue. So on the top of his head, I'm going to go in with some of the Fafflo blue, however you pronounce that. But I might put that in wet in wet. So I'm just going to wet the top of this head a little bit. And then we'll drop in the paint and watch it spread. Put more water in. a bit too close to where I want it right, so just lifting that a little bit. So just drop your colour in, drop some water in and watch it go. And that's quite nice at the minute. What I might do is find my little brush that I use to splatter. So I've got a little brush here. You can use a toothbrush. Put a little bit of the blue on the end and then just a little bit of flicking the paint. Just for now, we'll come back and do a little bit more of that in a minute. Just gonna work that in a bit there as well, so we don't get a hard edge. Okay, so the next bit, I'm gonna pull that bit around here and so I'm going to use indigo for that. I don't really, actually what I might do is while I'm, excuse me, waiting for that top bit to dry, I'll move into under the chin instead, I think. I don't want the indigo to mix with a bit that I don't want it to at the minute. So a little bit of indigo in the chin and then a bit of water. And then for this bit around here, just put some water in for now. And then leave that to do its thing. Okay. 
so I'm going to put a bit of the blue in now along the way so again I think what I'm going to do let's just put the water on first and then I'm going to put the colour in darker bits now the bit on his back is a little bit grey eh? and a little bit, bit greeny as well So a bit grey, so turn it, turn it down just a little bit, some of the, the grey colour. And I'm just putting some water in here, just to blend it, make it move. my colour off but I'll go in and put some more colour in. Go in the direction of your feathers. So I'll put a bit of this darker, more concentrated painting. This way, I want to add a bit of detail. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring this bit of indigo around to join. this bit here more neat concentrated indigo around that edge bit. So 
and we'll see when we get to the wet that it starts to spread. We don't want it spreading too much. But that looks quite good there. Okay, so now I'm going to add in some of the yellow. So I might just change my water. is where happy accidents will happen. So you get some spillage, which is fine. I'm going to get my yellows and I'm taking a bit of the lighter yellow, but a little bit of that other colour as well because up here it's slightly darker and then it kind of spreads into the lighter the lighter yellow so I'm just putting some on and lifting it I like that bit around the wing where it's all spreading. It's quite nice. I'll leave that. A little bit of yellow. Some fluffy yellow bits around the bottom. So what we can do for that is get some more torn or brush. Oh my gosh, my brush is all blue still in it so make sure your, your splatter or your brush is clean and then you can flick just a little bit of yellow around as well and while you've got your splatter brush out if you want to add just a little bit more some blue, blue green in. As I say, you can use a toothbrush or even just your paintbrush for doing that, but always try and get the direction of the splatter in the right way that you want it to go. So while this paint's still wet, we're going to put just a little streak of concentrated indigo and hope it doesn't spread too much because you want a bit of spread but not too much and then just have it fading off a little bit so you can pull it out this side a bit Coming up into a point there, like that. I don't want it coming under this belly, so I'll just pull that off a bit. Kind of direct it a bit, a bit lower down. As if it's disappearing under his belly. Right, while we're doing that, while waiting for that to dry, we can work on his legs a bit. So I would go in with the grey colour mix. And we don't ever put too much detail in the feet and things, just to give an idea. That's the impression rather than the actual ex 
exact replica. So again, it's about putting some colour in, lifting it off a bit. a bit concentrated just the nails claws and I might use a little bit of moon glow just down the back edge And then you can use a bit of your burnt sienna. Your branch. And again, the colour is going to be dark at the bottom. Just put a bit. So put a bit along the bottom and then pull it up. Like that, you could have a little bit of a couple of scratches of that colour if you wanted to. If you felt that was too much, you can lift them off, lighten them up a bit. You could use your moon glow just along the bottom under the foot just to show the shadow of your little bird and now you can just keep going in I mean I would probably use a bit of moon glow just around here of shading so it's not a flat colour. I don't know if I want to go in and do anything to that wing. Maybe just a little bit of moon glow in there. And then I could get my indigo neat again. So just look at your picture and have a look at where the darker bits are. Can put some on and then soften it up. just going along there, a couple of bits of white, on the wing, and then on the tail. As I say, you can just keep doing as much adding and detail as you want to. I 
think he's about done. You don't want to overdo it. 